hi guys welcome to my video so today here i'm going to explain about hydrophobic effect and entropy like how the hydrophobic effect is related with the entropy so here we have taken a molecule that is of phenyl aniline here i have two molecules of phenyl aniline so as we can see it has this non-polar benzene ring and this is the polar part that is the carboxyl group is here and the amine group is here so here uh, when they are forming the hydrophobic effect like when the hydrophobic effect is coming into existence what happens is this non-polar end of one aniline and this non-polar end of the other aniline they come close to each other okay this non-polar end spontaneously aggregate with each other as we can see and then when it is in aqueous condition right this uh, is in water so as we can see the water molecules start uh, aligning or start uh, organizing themselves in such a way that they form maximum hydrogen bonding so here they are uh, aligning themselves around the uh, molecules of the aniline as we can see so what is happening is first before adding this aniline into the water the water molecules must have been uh, in uh, uh, must not have been organized that is they must be moving randomly in water but after we have added the uh, let's say the phenyl aniline in water what happens is they are being orderly arranging themselves around this molecule so this is like the system is going from disorder to orderness so as we know entropy uh, is the measure of disorderness right so uh, our system is going from disordered to ordered here you can see the water molecules are aligning themselves around this uh, benzene ring in a very orderly arrangement so water molecules very orderly arrange or very specifically they arrange themselves why they are arranging themselves like this to form maximum hydrogen bonding okay so we can see a lot of surface orderly arranged by the water molecules but now what is happening is this is entropically unfavored right because first the water system it was there was a lot of randomness in the water molecules but now that randomness is quite lost and they are orderly arranging themselves so this dis so this is what the, this is disorganized sorry so this is entropically unfavorable and uh, we can say that when it is disorganized then we then it should be favorable that is then the entropy of the system will increase but here what is happening is the entropy in this part is decreasing so as we know that delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s so here we can see that uh, from this hydrophobic interaction the entropy of the system is actually decreasing and the energy is increasing so maintaining order requires a lot of energy whereas the disorder does not require energy so here's what the hydrophobic effect we have discussed in brief the driving force which keeps the groups non-polar segments of a molecule together and polar segments together this is what is the hydrophobic effect now as we saw the non-polar segments here this is the non-polar segment is kept together okay so that is only our hydrophobic effect which forms now see this will form micelles micelles what are micelles we will discuss just in a short time hydrophobic molecules interact with one another via van der waal forces the hydrophobic or we can say the non polar molecules will interact with one another via van der waal forces and the hydrophilic molecules they will interact with one another via hydrogen bonding so now uh, first we have to know to study the micelle we need to know what are amphipathic amphipathic molecules 
Now, amphibetic molecules are those molecules which have polar segments as well as non-polar segments. For example, we can say phospholipid. Okay, so phospholipid, the phosphorus group at the uh, top, uh, they we can consider them as the polar and the uh, alkyl chain that we can consider as the non-polar part. So, when we are uh, taking a water solution and uh, taking this phospholipids in the water solution so here is our hydrophobic part and sorry here is our hydrophilic part this head and this down alkyl chain that would be our hydrophobic part so what happens is when we are putting them in water the water molecules start arranging themselves around these molecules in the form of like cage Okay, so the water molecules form like cage-like structure in surrounding these molecules. So here I have shown that for example, this is our one molecule of phospholipid and these water molecules will form a cage-like structure. Now forming this cage-like structure surrounding the phospholipid, it will take a lot of energy because there will be many such phospholipid molecules. So this will require a lot of energy forming this phospholipid structure. So here I have written that downside here that would be a lot of energy required for this molecules. This is our hydrophobic part. This allows less interaction. They form the cage around it. Okay, so and this is just the explanation. This now this requires a lot of energy because before the water was highly disordered, right? Before before adding this phospholipid, the water molecules were randomly moving. So we can say that the water molecules were disordered. But after adding this phospholipids, they have become highly ordered. They have arranged themselves like. Uh, around the phospholipids in the form of cages so here randomness we can say is associated with entropy right so less randomness entropy will be less and energy of the system will be more because maintaining the high order requires lot of energy and disorderness is lost over here and we have to the system will be on high energy now here we have found an alternative way to minimize these cages and because they are formed because of their hydrophobic effect so we want to minimize the energy we want to bring the system to a stable form so this hydrophobic tails cluster together only the phosphine head interacts with water and won't need much energy now what we are saying is this where this was our initial condition where this is our phospholipid molecule and this we are saying water molecules are surrounding it so here the dispersion of lipids in water each lipid molecule forces surrounding water molecule to become highly ordered okay so here what is happening is water has lost the disorderness and it is on the ener the system is on high energy here the order is maintained but now what happens is the cluster of lipid molecules we are saying this as a cluster only lipid portions at the edge of the cluster forces the ordering of water fewer water molecules are ordered and entropy of the system is increasing now see here what is happening here if you can see here lot of order is there for each molecule but here there are many molecules which have come together for example this this i'm saying is the hydrophobic part and this is the hydrophilic part right so this hydrophobic hydrophobic interactions taking place and the water molecules only surrounding the edges so here there is little less order compared to this right so i can say that entropy of this system is greater than this because here the order is orderness of the water molecules is decreased and now further further we have this structure over here if you you all must be familiar with this this is the micelle structure wherein we can see the outer part is the hydrophilic and the inner is the hydrophobic part now micelles all hy all hydrophobic groups are sequestered away from water ordered shell 
of water molecule is minimized and entropy is further increased now see now here only the hydrophilic part is interacting with water whereas hydrophobic are interacting with themselves you can say why well, under wall forces and here the orderness uh here the ordered arrangement of the molecules is decreased and the entropy is increased now this we can relate myself with for example i'm giving when we are washing hands when our hands are become dirty with grease or oil now water as we know here oil or grease is the non polar okay they are not soluble in water they are hydrophobic so what we do is the it will not get washed just with water so we apply soap soap is what soap is amphipathic so amphipathic means it will have a polar as well as non polar part so we can see here for example this is my oil stain or whatever grease stain so this soap molecules will start arranging in such a way that the hydrophilic part is outside and the hydrophobic part is outside now interactions will take place as hydrophobic will react with another hydrophobic and one hydrophilic will react with another hydrophilic so here the hydrophobic end of the uh, water of uh, sorry of the oil or grease will interact with the hydrophobic end of the soap and this molecule will get this hydrophobic hydrophobic interaction will take place and this a uh, stain or whatever uh, wherever this stain is this soap will this soap particles will get this out oil is hydrophobic and interacts with hydrophobic part of soap so in this video we have learned about micelles how the uh, entropy of this system uh, is related with the formation of the uh, hydrophobic interactions and micelles thank you please do like share and subscribe this video